Hi everybody! So I wanted to do my first summer tutorial. I figured it's not technically summer yet, but it is so hot here now that it feels like it's already summer. So I thought I would do sort of a glowy, dewy, tanned, bronzy type look today. So go ahead and keep watching and I will jump into the tutorial. So because I'm going to be putting a lot of cream products on my face, actually all cream products on my face, um, I want to start out with a primer. So I have just like a little sample size here. This is the uh, Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. And then for my foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Visible Lift. Now I have like half of this still in here, but for some reason it doesn't pump out anymore. So I had to take the top off and then now I'm just using it like this. Not ideal, but it is a really great foundation. And I'm going to use... Wah! So this is technically a contour brush, but I'm going to apply... Well, I'm going to try applying my foundation with it. I don't know if I'm going to love it, but... Okay, earring, get in the way. It's cool. I think that this um, foundation brush allows for fuller coverage than if I were to use a beauty blender, which is missing. Oh, oh no. Crap. I actually need the beauty blender. All right, I'll grab that when I need it. So just throwing on my foundation here. And this is nice. This is sort of in between a... Um, a matte finish and a satin finish. It has a very natural um, look to it once it's applied and then you can easily mattify it with um, with the powder if you'd want to. And the other thing that I really like about it is that it's very very blendable and it's really buildable as well. I can do like two three layers and still not really look that cakey. Cool. So for my eye primer, I just figure I'll put it on now. Um, I mentioned this in my last video, but I've been really enjoying using foundation as a primer. So I'm actually using Estee Lauder's Double Wear foundation for my primer because I need to use a long lasting foundation to um, have it take sort of like a primer's place. So that's the only little spot that I'm using this foundation. Probably could use it on my whole face, but I like um, the texture of the other foundation, if I'm going to be using other cream products, it melds, they melt, melt together super well when I use, um, when I use that foundation. So now that I look kind of ghostly, I think I look kind of creepy. So I'm going to zoom you guys in for the rest of this, so I will be right back. And then I'm just going to get going with my contour, and this is e.l.f.'s HD Lifting Concealer in the color Fair. And yes, this is my contour. Uh, you might be able to see when I put it on. Uh, yeah, it's showing up. It's it's like subtle, but it's good. It's kind of perfect for this. So it's nice and cool toned. It's not too pink or too yellow. It's just sort of the perfect color. And it gives me quite a nice contour. So I'm going to put it there, a little bit on the sides of my forehead here. Or not really the sides of my forehead, but right above like basically the arch on my eyebrow. I'm going to use a beauty blender and just blend out this contour. It's so subtle and it's so blendable that you don't have to worry a whole lot about spending a lot of time. Um, but see, okay, do you see this? This is fair. This is fair and this is my contour. Do <laughs> You can see how dark it is. It's not a super, super defined contour or anything like that, but I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension to my face. So then for my actual bronzer, I'm using the best cream blush technically actually, but it is, at least for me, it's a bronzer and it is by Smashbox and it is creamy cheek color and the color is untamed and this is what it looks like. It looks very scary in the pot, but it actually is the most natural tan I've ever seen because it has this red undertone as you can see. It really, really brings out sort of like, at least for me, when I get tan, I get that like a little bit of redness underneath. And so it really looks natural. So I'm just going to go kind of like along my hairline to start. And I'm using a beauty blender for this. I find that it is the best way to do it. And I'll just start kind of blending it 
upwards and into the hair. You don't want to have a line for like where you're bronzed. So I like to just kind of go right up into my hairline. So you can see, ooh, okay, got myself in the eye there. Um, it definitely has a natural look to it and it is very pigmented. So all good things, all good things. I do kind of wonder if this is limited edition and I will check on that if it is. I'm so sorry, but I will put a similar product um, down below. I'm just going to use a little bit on my chin and just continue on with the blending. Name of the game is blending because you just want to look like you were just like, oh yeah, I went to the sun. And no, not to the sun. You'd be dead if you went to the sun. Went out in the sun. All right, center of the forehead, which is sort of an odd place to be putting something that's darker than your skin um, but naturally when the sun is hitting you it's the bridge of the nose the tops of the cheeks center of the forehead and the chin so I am going for what would you would naturally have versus um, like what a contour would be now this is coming off a little bit pink in the uh, in the camera but it's really not in person so uh, let me see if I can change the settings so you can kind of see what it actually looks like okay that's better so finally, I'm going to, well, not finally, but in terms of cheek color, I'm going to use this very pretty corally pink blush. This is a cream blush by Sonia Kashuk, and the color is in Rosy. And I'm, again, I'm going to use the back of the Beauty Blender and just pick up a little bit and then dab off the excess on my hand because wowza, is this stuff pigmented. Holy Hannah, man. So I'm just using this right on the apples of my cheeks because you do not get a tan without getting some sort of rosiness on your cheeks. Unless, well, maybe you do. I don't know, I don't. Okay. And then I'm going to also use a little bit on the bridge of my nose. What do you think? Does it look like I've been in the sun? <laughs> Alrighty. So then for my highlight which you think that I would not want to use a highlight considering but I'm going to use one anyways this is benefits WhatsApp and I'm going to just draw in a little C shape let me see if you can see this better there we go a little bit on the tip of the nose Cupid's bow and I'm gonna skip the forehead because I'm already looking a little shiny and then back to the beauty blender Looking pretty glow-tastic. Um, I'm going to do my brows off camera really quickly, and then I will do my eye makeup. Okay, what do you think? Are they on fleek? <laughs> um, so I did actually get sent these by Marlena, but a very, very long time ago, um, and it was not by her uh, PR team, so uh, just in case FTC wants to get on me for that, yes, they technically were for free. But I love them, so anyways. So anyways, I am taking a flat shader brush and I am blending this all over my eyelid. This is a very orange toned gold, very shimmery, very pretty. So I'm making like a pretty sharp edge here with this color. And then I'm going to take just a tiny bit, like just touching it and then like really tapping off the excess. And I'm going to first get in focus again. And then I'm going to just blend a little bit on the lower lash line. Um, the next one is Country Girl, and this is like a reddish brown color. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is my fluffy brush of choice. And I'm just going to take a little bit at a time and begin blending it into my crease. windshield wiper motions and circular motions kind of mixed together. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend off the edges a little bit. It got a little crazy and I wanna make sure that it's not too intense because I want everything to look kind of natural. Well, 
not really natural, but I want everything to look kind of subtly glamorous rather than like all up in your face. I just want it to look like everything is just so pretty and glowy. So now uh, I'm going to take Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow in the color True Gold. Watch me get glitter everywhere. So that's what this looks like. Here, I'll go like this just in case. It is a really, really pretty, sh shiny, sparkly gold. And then I'm just gonna dab it on to my eyelids, particularly the inner two thirds of my eye. And I'm going to just take the eyeshadow brush that I used to apply Glamorous and I'm just gonna kind of blend these out. Blend these colors together. Let them be married. It's all very lovely. And this is called Improper Copper. I've used this in videos before, but I am going to use it wet and I'm gonna use it sort of like a liquid liner. So I am taking my trusted Evian water and I'm going to take my little Improper Copper pigment and it's just a flat cap, which is helpful in this circumstance. And I'm going to use that Excuse me, I'm gonna use that as sort of like my mixing palette. So I'm going to take my little angled brush here and I'm gonna give it a pretty good spray there because then I can take my lid and whatever's on there, I can mix it up with the water that's on my brush and it becomes sort of like a liquid liner. Oh yeah, it's working. So now I'm just going to do mascara and pop on some uh, individual lashes and all that stuff and I will come back and do my lips and the final review and all that stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, lashes and mascara are on. So now it is time for the lips. I have this trusty little MAC lip palette and there are six colors, all of which are neutral and they are perfect for this kind of thing. I'm going to use, well, I'm gonna start by using this shade here, which is, okay, Peach Dog, half and half, friendly. <laughs> okay, I am skipping lip liner today, so we can all drop our jaws together. I don't know if I'm gonna have to go back and, and put on some, but I'm hoping not. I'm hoping I can make it through a whole video and not use lip liner. What do we think? I think I need to add a different color. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix this one and peach stock. So this is um, fresh brew and this is peach stock. I'm gonna mix these two up. Yeah. Okay, I dig that. So this is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And I will be back very soon with another tutorial. So I will, uh, I will talk to you soon and have a great day. Bye, guys.